finally we are live. I think we're live. How's everybody going? Humberto, what's going on, my buddy? Texas DD, how you doing? Barbara, Neil White, how's everything going? Oh, let me turn this down here. Phew, it's warm out here today, out here in sunny California. It's like 80 degrees outside. I have to, instead of having my Coronas, I got to have my water today. It's freaking hot. How's everything going? Can everybody see me, hear me? Everything going pretty good? Mic check, check one, two. Berto, can you hear me? And I got my Coke. Uh, sounds good. How you doing, Barbara? How's Pennsylvania? Mad Murray, how you doing? I know you've missed the past few. I knew you said you weren't going to miss it. That's good. First program breaks the rules. Yeah. <laughs> He's eating the chicken wings. That shit was funny when he told me that story. Texas D. Uh, <laughs> so our special guest today could be a good one. We got a, a manufacturer on today. Gonna talk about the product. I'm gonna give you a little hint as I move out of the way who it might be. Pennsylvania rain today and around 70. Man, it rains in 70 degree weather? Wow. Man, I don't even know the last time it rained. It's been a while since it rained here. Didn't do no details today, thank God. I took my dog to the vet. She, she had her legs hurting. Y'all know my dog, yeah, my baby. She's sitting right here down below me. I'm sitting on my feet. Trying to watch everything. 404, what's going on? Welcome in. Deal 67 and stormy. Nice and cool. Man, I wish it would be stormy here. That'd be great. I don't have to go to work tomorrow. I can just sit at home, edit videos. <laughs> yes, yeah, barbed her front leg. She's been limping on it for a while. She had surgery on it uh, December, but she's still limping on it. That's my baby. She is uh, almost eight years old, my baby girl. But next week, my, I have a black lab. She's shy as heck. She goes in next week. She's good. She, I think she's got cancer. That sucks, though. Phew, man. Everybody popping on in. That's good. Appreciate y'all coming in. Why is this not coming up here? I gotta see how this goes. Uh, oh, that's why. Duh. At my yep, poor puppy. Yep. I'm my baby. Eight is young, but bulldogs, bulldogs don't they don't go forever anyways. I mean about 12 is their average lifespan. What you do, man? You're going to slobber all over me, girl. Whew. My first live stream since I've been monetized has been great. And I'm waiting for Clifford to get his ass in here because I promised Clifford he'd be the first blue name. He's going to be my first moder uh, moderator. I promise him he'd have it. Hope all goes well. Uh, thanks, 404. I hope so, too. That's my baby girl. I mean, no matter where I go, she's always there. I, I know you know, You see when I do make my videos and I'm out there detailing the cars, she's always out there. She's always there. I mean, she's here right now. That's my girl. So today's guest it's not a person, it's a company. The person's going to be here is going to be representing the company. Uh, you, you've probably seen them all over the uh, social medias. They've been doing a lot of advertising. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the company, how they started, where they're going, what they're doing. It's going to be fun. There'll be a lot of information. So 
been about six minutes. That's good enough for me. Ryan, how you doing? What's going on? Welcome in. Just finished washing the car, so we'll be listening. So all you got to do is listen. That's it. So uh, all the way live from Florida, we're going to have Mark from Duracoat Technology come into our stream. Give him a round of applause, Mark. Thank you. How are you guys doing? So, Mark is. Uh, what, what's your position for Duraco Technology? What do you do there? I'm the owner. I'm the owner of Duraco. Oh, you're the owner of Duraco. Okay. Yep. So owner. The owner. Okay. Cool. Cool. And how long has Duraco Technology been in business? So Duraco has been around for for quite a few years, um, but really we've been mainstream, really driving hard marketing and stuff for the last uh, two years. So we started uh, putting the company together. Um, and the, our lineup together probably about six, seven years ago, uh, Dura Dressing, that's our flagship product, took us about three years or so to develop, almost a half a million dollars to develop uh, wow. Dura Dressing. So that's a product we invented. Um, I actually invented it. It's actually our product. Um, we wow. actually still manufacture that product 100% in-house. We bottle it in-house. We label it in-house. We ship it in-house. So every single bottle and kit of Dura Dressing out there is still coming from, uh, from us. That's one thing that we haven't hired out and had anyone um, start bottling or manufacturing, you know, for us um, just because the uh, it, it's such a sensitive product to try and make. So it makes us a little nervous uh, outsourcing it, but uh, yeah, we still make that in house. So. Uh, oh, I yep. didn't know that. Yeah. So uh, your big thing that I've seen is the tire dressing. Yes. So how did you guys, you, you, I'm assuming you guys have your own chemists to design this tire dressing so tire dressing is kind of a kind of an interesting story it was uh we started working on it and what we really thought we needed to do to make it really is the complete opposite of what we needed to do so um it was kind of an accident that it uh mm -hmm. that it really started and gave us the idea for that product and it just kind of spun off into um, a lot of different blending and mixing and um you know we do work with other other chemical companies and stuff that um that'll help us bottle and we'll work with their chemists and stuff too for, uh, you know, for some ideas, but their dressing, actually, I created it hundred percent house. Not one person in this world knew what we were doing or what was going on with that product. So we, we tested it in house and I think we probably made 50 to a hundred different batches of different stuff to try and get that recipe to where it is, uh, is now. So it was a, it was an interesting road for a couple of years, but, uh, it worked out really good. It's a great product. Wow. Yeah. It is pretty, uh, pretty good. So what's the, the life expectancy on those on this that you guys say will last yeah so um so basically what we tell people is once you properly clean your tires and you apply dirt dressing onto the tires usually three coats is, is really what you're going to apply on there once it's applied on that tire if the tire is totally clean yep that's the dirt dressing if the tire is totally clean dirt dressing will be on there for if you never touched it again it'd probably be on there for uh, a year 16 months 18 months uh -huh. uh, or more. I mean, we've got a we've got a car that we don't uh, we don't drive every day, but we race it, and it gets driven. You know, maybe a you know maybe a couple times a week. It's been on there for over two years, and we've never we've never touched it. On a daily driver, though, you'll apply coats uh, throughout the year as you want to uh, increase your shine. Uh, you'll apply an extra coat to increase the shine. But if you never touched it again uh, after your application, your tires would stay satin black shine for you know for like I said over a year. 16 wow. months, 18 months so it's uh it's on there for uh you know for a long long time so it's on there for a long time that's that's pretty interesting so it how did you guys come up with i mean i, I have no idea what's in there so to fight off chemical resistance how what what how did you guys come up with fighting off chemicals so it doesn't go away um like i said it was it started out as an accident so mm -hmm. That's kind of how it started out. It started out as an accident and it kind of went from there. And, um, you know, what we started blending originally wasn't at all what we actually ended up making that with. So it kind of just spun off, but it's totally chemical resistant. It won't wash off at all. Um, you can, um, if your tires get dirty, you, you know, you basically wash it. You can touch it with your hands. It's totally dry. It's not a tire dressing at all. It's actually a tire. It's actually a tire coating. So there's about eight different things that go into that uh, to blend it to uh, to get it to do you know what what it is that we need to do. So it's a it's a it's a pretty cool pretty cool thing that we made. And I can't talk about what goes into it. <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's all right. <laughs> I understand. Uh, so what about some of these other products? Uh, I haven't 
opened up the rest of them though, but I do have them there. Uh, the ceramic spray wax and sealant, metal pop, metal polish. I see when I'm on your website is popular. I, I yeah, we, it. it looks like it's like a two part because I see uh, white here, yep. and blue here, so that definitely got to be shaken up. Yeah, it's a it's a, it's a water based emulsion. So yeah, it separates out, turns blue. Uh, as it separates out, it turns blue. Um, that's a really popular item for us. I think last year we shipped, I think almost two hundred thousand bottles of that. So oh, we shipped wow. a lot of metal polish. A lot of metal polish. The Cryo is a great product too. That's a, a ceramic hybrid spray detailer. Mm -hmm. Works great. And the best part of all of our stuff, it's all made in the USA. So everything here is made by American workers. It's all bottled by American workers. It's all labeled by American workers. We're shipping it direct, you know, from us. Nothing's drop shipped from China. And that's that's been a huge problem in our industry as our industry is going more and more to everyone just basically getting stuff from from overseas. Because in China, they'll label it all for they'll do everything they'll have a full product line for you they just swap it out if you had any idea how many companies out there are all selling the exact same product with different labels and different colors on it in different scents it's absolutely ridiculous so um overseas stuff has become a huge a huge problem and we uh you know we don't go with that at all everything here is made in the usa and that's that's a big deal and that's something we wanted to form the company around and uh you know and we'll stick to that heck yeah um uh, so you said you guys have been a company for a few years. When I went to your website, it looked like you guys took some help to get started. Uh, no, we we launched it ourselves. Um, you know, the, me, myself and uh, you know, I, I guess we, you know, my wife and my family and stuff. We we launched it ourselves. We put our own money into it. We're probably a million dollars deep of our own money into developing the products. Uh, just recently, we started working with Kevin Harrington, who's one of the sharks from Shark Tank. Uh, we're working with them. You'll see us on TV starting the end of April. Um, you know, we'll start airing on TV um, doing, you know, doing commercials and infomercials with them. So that's really, that's, that's really the first, um, first outreach that we've, uh, we've really had from anyone. So everything we've done has been developed by our, by ourselves. So no, no, no funding or any assistance from anybody else. It's been our own. Yeah. So I know you guys have been smashing the uh, Instagram, Facebook, and now you can become with infomercials. So are you as a company prepared to be big? Yeah. I mean, we, we, we ship a lot of items. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't exactly know how many we ship. I know, I know last year, you know, our busy months during the summertime, we were shipping 35,000 packages a month. So oh, wow. um, we, we ship out quite a few, you know, quite a few packages. We average anywhere up to 600 orders a day right now. Um, you know, we'll, you know, we're shipping out. So we get a lot, we get a lot of orders in. We supply over 400 professional detailers, um, auto dealers, body shops. Yeah. I mean, you name it. So, um, you know, we've got, we, our, our products are professional. That's their professional line. It's not retail stuff. Stuff you're buying at retail is not what's being used in professional shops and auto dealers at all. It's a whole different ball game. What's at retail. It's totally different types of products. If we were going to be in retail, a lot of our stuff would have to be changed, um, you know, because it's driven by a, a price point for the most part. That's really what's, what's driven at retail. So, um, you know, we're, we're selling professional products direct, you know, direct to the public so they can buy exactly what the pros are using. And you will absolutely see the difference from professional products to what you're buying at retail. That's, that's for sure. So how did you guys come up with the labels? The labels are, they're basically so simple when you look at them, you know, when you look at this one, you know, it's metal polish. It's, it's yep. really simple. When you look at this one, it's leather soft and that's what leather's supposed to be. You know, then you, that crazy suds. I'm assuming if I put this in a foam canyon, I'm going to have suds <laughs> flying everywhere. I remember. <laughs> you make them so simple to like, you know, I, I don't want to put people on blast, but when I look at other things, I have to almost guess, you know, what it's going right. to do, make it simple. How, who came up with that idea? So we, we, um, we hired that stuff out. We hired, um, we hired uh, marketing companies and whatnot, um, to just go ahead and develop our, we actually hired two to go ahead and start developing and, um, coming up with our, you know, our labels. We've changed them a couple of times. Those aren't, none of the labels that you're, you see there, those are, are not our original labels. They've changed three times over the years. So that's our, our newest line that, that, um, that a company designed for us that we thought was really cool. They're kind of a matte finish. We think they're really simple and clean and exactly like you said, you can read them and see exactly, you know, what they are. So, um, so that's, it's, it's, it's simple. We keep it simple. We like it. So, uh, social media, uh, infomercials. So I'm assuming you guys have a lot, a lot of plans coming for 2021 and beyond. 
Yeah, I mean, we, we we try and take it one day at a time. We try not to get too you know too overwhelmed with um you know with what's happened. It's a it's a lot of work. I mean, we work. I work seven days a week, almost 10, 50, 15 hours a day. So it's a lot of work doing what we're doing. Um, it really never stops. It goes like I said, almost around the clock. Um, so I, I do it from the time I wake up to the time I go to bed every single day. Um, so our plans this year really are are really getting with um the guys from Shark Tank getting on getting on TV, getting spots going. And then this year's really been working on, you know, getting our stuff all, you know, right and set up on Amazon and setting up on Amazon takes a ton of time. It takes a ton of money to, to have companies do that for you. It's, it's been a really long process already with, with Amazon. And that process is just, it's uh, it can be really slow. So Amazon doesn't move too quickly. Um, so we're still working on that. So, you know, we try to keep things, uh, you know, a little bit as simple as we can without getting too far ahead of ourselves, but we take it, we take it one day at a time, you know, we'll see where the TV thing goes and uh, how that works out. And if it goes well, we'll keep going with it. If it doesn't, then we just won't. So, um, you know, we'll continue with our Facebook and Instagram marketing. We've got a marketing company that handles all that stuff for us. We've got another marketing company that handles Amazon and then another marketing company that handles Google and another marketing company that'll handle the stuff for the sharks from Shark Tank. So nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's, okay. it's, a, it's a circus. For the doctor. What's that? Yeah, we got our first question I put up on the screen by the functional doctor. It says, what's the difference between your product and Tough Shine Clear Coat? Well, other than they're totally different products, I, I guess that's the only way I could really answer it. I mean, our, our product's totally different. It's our patented formula that we have. No one else has it. So, uh, you know, ours is just different. So it's just it's just chemically made. It's made different. That's all. Um, you know, I don't want to down talk or bad mouth anybody else. I mean, Tough Shine's been around for a long time, and um, it's great. If they're doing well, that's that's fantastic. But our product is unique to uh, to us alone. So no one else is using what, what, what it is that we're using. Yeah, yeah. So – how did you guys, uh, I seen, uh, I think it was you on the video when you were doing some of your compounds and polishes, it actually stood out on some of it. Uh, who, who came up with those uh, uh, ideas with the compounds and polishes that you guys have? Um, well, we we, uh, we use we use several different chemical manufacturers and stuff to um, mm -hmm. to help us get things done that we want to do. Some things take us a long time, and a lot of things that we spend money on developing never make it to market. We've got more stuff on our shelves that we'll never ever see our label uh, than we do things that actually go to market. So we spend a lot of money and a lot of time not only testing you know products that we want and telling our you know our chemical partners you know what it is that we want them to do, how we want them to perform, and um, some of these some of these you know, polishes will take us, you know, a year and a half to, to develop through testing and tweaking and, you know, and, um, you know, and, and how we want it to work. So it does take, it does take a long time uh, for us to do it. And it's expensive. And we test just about everyone else's products out there too. So we're testing everyone else's stuff against yeah. ours. If it's not really good, if our stuff, it doesn't perform to where we use it and we say, wow, this is awesome. It, it never sees, it never sees a label. We're not just pumping stuff out there for a cheap price. If it's not good, it just, it just doesn't wear a label, you know, plain and simple. Okay. So. So DRD is uh, what else uh, in their lineup that you sees? He sees what I have here. What else do you have? Oh my God! <laughs> I know we, we we've got a lot of stuff. We've got a huge website um, that you guys can go on and shop. But we've got a lot of stuff. We've got, um, I mean, pretty much everything you think of. We got glass cleaners, you know, wheel cleaners, uh, ceramics. We got a lot of ceramics, uh, waxes, um, wheel cleaners, uh, tire dressings, um, engine bay cleaners. I mean, a lot of different spray detailers, spray waxes. I mean, you name it. We pretty much, we pretty much have it. We've got a really, really good lineup. A lot of interior cleaners, different kinds of interior cleaners. So, just about everything that's uh, that you can think of, we've, you know, we've we've got. So, our, we have a huge product line. So, what you see in the back there is that's that's just a small fraction of what we have available. All of everything, yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh, insane. Mad Murray's Autos. So, you, uh, are your products available to Europe? No, they're not. Our products are not. They're only available in the uh, in, in the United States, all 50 states. We ship to all 50 states, uh, Hawaii and Alaska as well. And uh, we ship to Canada as well. So the United States and Canada right now is where we're shipping to. Okay. Yep. Cool. That's cool. That's cool. I'm just taking questions and going as we go. Yeah. There's a couple of people are asking about the full line of products and stuff. Yeah, we're full line. Everything you can think of. So we've got a great, great lineup. We sell so, stuff for boats too. We got boat polishes as well. So really good stuff for marine marine applications. I didn't. Uh, I didn't. I missed that part thing because I was on your website checking it all out. Yep. And, and uh, that's pretty good. I'm waiting to see if any more questions pop up. 
so you're saying you're working seven days a week. Uh, is, is your company or, or your building that you have, do you guys just don't employ a lot that you guys stay there a lot or? or, or what, what? Uh, we work, we work quite a bit. We don't have a, we don't have a gigantic staff. We don't have a staff of, of 50 or anything like that. So we, we all work, you know, we all work hard and um, you know, Really, the majority, a lot of the work isn't necessarily always always shipping the products out and getting them prepared. A lot of the work is is social media uh, and emails and doing that stuff. We get thousands of messages and emails a day. I mean, we'll have just today, just in emails, we'll probably have 500 emails come in, probably 1,500 messages on Facebook and hundreds on Instagram. So just keeping up with all them, we try and respond to every single person. So um, that's a 5 a.m. to a pretty responsive. Day. Oh, it's insane! Yeah, we we try to get to every single every single person that gets answered. So it is uh, now. Facebook does glitch sometimes. We don't get all the comments coming in. If there's a lot coming in, um, you know, there's you know, 15, 20 coming in a minute. It will um, it won't give us all of them. We'll, we might find some that we missed a couple of days later and whatnot. It won't show us all of them uh, coming in if there's a high volume. But like I said, if we see them, uh, we try and respond to every single person. And that takes it takes a lot of time. Yeah, and you, you were pretty quick because I know every time I've reached out to you, it, it's probably within within an hour you've responded. Sometimes within five minutes you've responded yeah. pretty good. I yeah. like it. So DRD says, what is one of your favorite interior and exterior products? Well, I'd have to say right now my favorite exterior product, I would say, is our GraphX6 um, uh, graphene nano coating that is just an awesome product every time i use it i'm just i'm just blown away you know we're down here in florida in southwest florida so for us a huge problem that we have here is water spotting on cars so to give you guys a crash course in our weather here um you know we're almost in summertime here another month and a half we'll be at our we'll be at temperatures of heat indexes 109 110 mm -hmm. a day and it'll rain it'll rain midday every day yeah. for like two hours then it stops and the sun will come back out. It'll go back up to 100 degrees, 110 degrees. And um, it just cooks. It just cooks water spots in. Uh, the water that we have here has got tons of minerals in it. So water spotting is caused by minerals. I don't know if everyone everyone knows that or not. So what happens is, you get, you know, if you're, you're washing your car with a hose and you get done washing the car and you got water spots all over it and you don't know where they come from, it's because there's minerals in your water. So when your water gets onto your car, the water evaporates all of the minerals are left sitting there on the surface. So if you washed your, your car with reverse osmosis water or distilled water, there would be no water spots at all. So, but for us in Florida, the water spotting with our water here, whether it's from irrigation and sprinklers or what blows around in the rain, it's just, it causes a lot of problems. The Graph X6 uh, protects and gives us time to be able to, to, you know, wash a car or clean those spots off to where it doesn't, it doesn't burn in. So it does exceed um, the other ceramic coatings and stuff, the, the typical 9-H coatings. The graphene is definitely a level above the shine that, and how easy it goes on, how far it goes, and and what it can do. It's pretty remarkable. So that's probably my favorite my favorite uh, exterior product that I'd say we have right now. Interior product, um, I like I like our leather soft product. I know you you, you know you showed that. Um, yeah. It's a great product. It's it's called leather soft because it smells like leather. So when you clean your car the um the entire car smells like leather so your car will smell like you know like new leather and stuff for about a week or so a week and a half so it's a great product it, it's it's um it's an awesome product there's no silicone no solvents in it at all it's um all of our stuff is is top of the line high quality they're all natural oils natural yeah. moisturizers um it's not the stuff you're buying at the uh, at the auto parts store so great products really high end doesn't leave a greasy slippery silicone mess on your car, it dries and leaves an awesome shine and a great smell. So that I like that. Good. Yeah, it's awesome. So, it's a good product. Here, here's the one thing I did read on your website, and, and I know the answer to this, but I have to explain it. Functional doctor wants to know, how do you determine if the dressing or the coating has failed? And I'm assuming he's talking about for the tire. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you put it on right, it's, 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 it's really not going to just fail or ever. That's the cleaner and stuff. Um, yeah. it, it'll work its way off. If you have it on your tires for, you know, a year and a half or longer, it doesn't ever just like fall off the tire. It'll just gradually just work its way off the tire over, over time. I got, we've got tires here that have had it on it sitting outside for two and a half years and it's oh, wow. still on the tires. So, um, it just wears itself off over time. So it really doesn't ever, it really, I wouldn't say it's going to fail at all. I mean, basically, you know, we do recommend that once every three to six months it, it, at the minimum, you're going to put on, you know, another, another fresh coat of, um, 
of dirt dressing under the tires. So, um, but like I said, if you never touch it again, you're going to have a matte, matte finish, nice looking tire, you know, for a really, really long time. The maintenance is, I mean, it's just, it takes tire dressing to a whole nother level. Like you said, this is dirt dressing is literally everything you wish your tire dressing was because when you put on tire dressing, you want it to last. You want the shine to last. You don't want it to fly all over your car. You don't want it to be all over your hands and you don't, you don't want it to be a mess and you want to, you don't want to reapply every time it rains. You know, you, you got a mess on your, on your, on your tires. So this, that changes all that. So this is, it, this is what I think everybody wants when they put tire dressing on is they want it to perform. You know, I've had it on my truck. I haven't touched it and I got new tires. I haven't touched it in over two months and it's still got, I just posted a video today of what it looks like. I think after nine weeks and it rains and I, and I wash, I wash my truck every Saturday when you wash, when I wash my truck uh, or my cars, I wash the tires too. It's fully washable. You wash it and clean it. Uh, just like it's the paint, uh, you know, the paint on your car. But uh, other than that, it's, you know, it, it just doesn't fail. It's, you're, you're going to put a coat on every, every three to six months and it just and keeps on going. It really, it really doesn't fail. So this here is the, is the prep, the tire first, right? This one. Is? Correct. Yep. Okay. That preps so, the tire, stripped so, off so all the floorboards. The stating uh, for your tire dressing to work, the preparation is everything. So it is yeah. 100%. So if it, yeah. if there was some something left over from another product, it it the stability may not be there if it's not completely clean. So having a prepped tire was one of the things I seen on your on your thing. Yeah, that's that's critical. If uh, if you just took the dirt dressing out of the box, didn't clean the tires, and you've been using silicone tire dressing and traditional tire dressing, and you just wipe the dirt dressing right on over top of it. It, yeah, would, it, would do, it would do nothing. Nothing would happen at all. It would not. It would not work at all. Yeah. So it's a good pad uh, to team up with our all-in-one polish. So if you're using a, uh, you know, an orbital, orbital or DA polisher uh, with all-in-one polish, I like our microfiber cutting pad. Personally, if you're using it on a vehicle, um, if you're using it on a trailer, like a painted aluminum trailer, I like our finishing pad uh, for that application. So on a car uh, or a truck, you know, with clear coat, I, I really like the cutting pad. Uh, if you're going to do a trailer with it, I like the uh, I like the finishing pad or our XL cutting pad. If you're going to do it on a trailer, so yep. Nice. So I'm a, uh, I'm just going to guess when you eventually make it to Amazon, do you ever plan on expanding to Europe? Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm sure we'll expand everywhere, you know. But to be honest with you, we we can't we we're having a tough time even getting the supply chain to fill the orders that we have coming in right now as it is to America and and to Canada. So. We're, we're really not looking that far out other than what's happening, you know, what's happening in the company now, how fast we're growing, you know, um, the number of sales that we're doing. We, we want to fill the orders to, uh, you know, to the 50 states first and foremost before we're going to go to the other countries and really, really spread ourselves thin. So we're, we, we are taking it one, you know, one step at a time, trying not to get too far ahead of ourselves. Um, but like I said, you know, we, we sell a lot of stuff when we're going, we're selling a lot of stuff. And, you know, we got to make sure our supply chains can uh, can continue that with COVID. Things have gotten to be a lot harder to fill our supply chain. Mm -hmm. Things that you don't even think about, like bottles, caps, sprayers. I those know, have gotten sprayer. to be, yeah. man, brutal, really tough to get to, to the point where, you know, you might get a, a bottle from us one month, the next month get another bottle of the same product, and it'll be in a different type of bottle. We really yeah, yeah. will take whatever we can, what we can get. Um, even our chemical company partners that are, um, you know, we'll have them, we'll give them the recipe, they'll manufacture that product for us and bottle it and label it and send it down, you know, send it down to us. Uh, you know, they're trying to source for us too. And they're having the same problems. They're, you know, they're sending us different color bottles and, and whatnot, but yeah, COVID's made it really tough uh, it, with raw materials for a lot of our, our stuff that we're making too. It's been really tough. So it's been, a, it's been a challenging year. And I think there was a, a message that popped up and, and left. I think uh, there's a question. Uh, it just said leather, the leather products uh, sounds good. Yeah. It's really cool. Yes. Yeah. yeah awesome. Yeah, I love uh, it. I've talked to extreme. We've had extreme solutions, uh, ethos, car care, uh, lithium, and they're all saying the same thing with theirs, especially with their sprayers. Yeah. Uh, some of the sprayers will come and there'll be those clear little plastic ones and they're just junk. They're garbage. You yes. Kind of break. So sometimes <laughs> when you get those black ones or reels, you freaking keep those things. Yeah. We've, we've, I've got, I mean, I've got, trailers full of sprayers and we've got all sorts of different uh you know different colors and stuff uh sprayers so i mean like i said we we really do take what we can get i mean I'll, some of our, our chemical partners will call me and say hey we just got 
we, we just found a company that just made it available. We can get 15,000 sprayers or I can get 40,000 bottles and 16 ounce with 28 millimeter tops and, and we'll take them. So, I mean, it's, it's, yeah, uh, it really get. hasn't freed up a lot. Um, and someone wants a discount code to use and stuff too. So if you guys want, uh, you know, want a discount code, I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. Um, I'll make a discount code up when the show's over and, uh, the discount code will be Mike. So it'll be M I K E and it'll do 20%. It'll do 20% off. So I'll make that code up when we're done. You guys can go on there and buy anything you want. 20% off. Nice. Yeah. I actually have the link to your YouTube, your Instagram, and to your website in the descriptions. So okay. uh, just give it, uh, I don't know, what, an hour or so afterwards, and we'll, we'll have it. It'll, it'll take me 10 minutes to, to do that discount code and make it active for everything. So yeah, give 10 minutes after the show, I'll make it active, and you guys can buy whatever the heck you want. So. Oh, perfect. And, and uh, what I'll do is I'll just keep that in my uh, – actually have perfect. other f links in there. I'll, just, I'll leave it there for other videos because i put out videos every monday perfect weekends i'll just leave it there uh for for discount codes and stuff yeah awesome that works for me well we, we definitely appreciate so uh i've seen some companies get carried away with the work ceramic all over everything yeah. uh do you, you know the latest one i i, I want to laugh at it sometimes is they came up with ceramic window cleaner and i'm like thinking to myself <laughs> it's stupid. Do you, I mean, do you, how many ceramic based products do you guys actually carry? Well, so I, I think the confusion that's out there that we've been starting to make videos trying to educate more people out there, like what what a ceramic you know coating is and what a I guess we'll call it a silica product really is. I mean, I guess it's the ceramic. So. I mean, you can put ceramic in all sorts of stuff. Putting ceramic in a window cleaner, I mean, you could certainly put it in there, I guess. You can put ceramic in anything and uh, and call it a ceramic. But ceramic coatings are, you know, the coatings that, uh, that you know, we're selling that are professional coatings, you can't put that in anything. So you could never take a real ceramic coating and make a window cleaner out of it. You couldn't make a car wash out of it, and you couldn't make a spray detail out of it. It doesn't work that way. Those products need to be uh separated by themselves for one they're you know they're flammable materials they dry they cure um in, in into a glass coating essentially so those those can't you can't mix them with water you can't mix it with wax it, it just won't work so if it's if it's got it's a window cleaner that has ceramic in it it's got some silica in it that's that's really it it's like when you go to the auto parts store and you, you know uh you know and you're buying stuff there that says ceramic People literally think that those are ceramic coatings, and it's just it's just got some some ceramic, maybe five percent, four percent, three percent, six percent, you know, silica, you know. But real ceramic coatings are up to ninety percent, so it's a whole different level. So the word the term ceramic really gets overused now. It's everything is ceramic this and ceramic that, and it's yeah. for the most part, it really is. Um, and it's confusing to the public. I mean, I can't tell you how many messages we feel today where people are asking us, you know, how do I maintain, what's the best way for me to maintain my ceramic coating? And we ask them, what kind of ceramic you got? And it's it's what they bought at the auto parts store. It's not a ceramic coating at all. There is no maintaining it. It's, it's not a ceramic coating. So, you know, it's it's there's really nothing to that. So it really is a lot of confusion about that. And it does bother us a lot to where, you know, we see consumers so confused and misled by everything out there so i mean if there's a ceramic infused window cleaner i i, I wouldn't buy it i would I, just use a regular window cleaner and if you want to wipe a ceramic on your window wipe a ceramic on your window and you'll have a real ceramic on your window uh, you're probably going to be paying an over overpriced you know a window window cleaner because it has ceramic in it so you know we're not gimmicky we don't do that stuff we'll never come out with weird stuff like that if it's not something that really does solve a problem and really works good we're not going to put something out there that just you know that uh that doesn't do its job just just for sales. It's just it's just not how we roll. That's kind of how we feel about what retail is. You know, people go to retail stores and they they have no idea what you know what what really what is or what isn't uh, you know a real product. What's good and what's not. So um, you know we, we really don't do that stuff. But yeah, ceramic is way overused. Absolutely, it's it's a problem. I I, I totally agree with you on that. A one hundred percent. Now, does Duraco Technology have a ceramic coating? Yeah, we've got um, we we've got a lot of ceramic coatings. So we have our ceramic coatings go from one year. So we've got a one year ceramic, a two year ceramic, a four year ceramic, um, a six year ceramic, and then we have a ceramic that can go up to ten plus years. So we've got quite a few. Our ceramics range from basically forty bucks um, for a bottle that would will do about five cars. So you can get real ceramic coatings for 
for you know for a good price. They're not all crazy expensive. And then you know our most expensive coatings are two hundred bucks for you know for a fifty milliliter. So um, but yeah, you, ceramics range in large prices. You don't have to spend a ton of money uh, to get a real ceramic coating and stuff. You can you can uh, you can get the real deal for you know for a good price. That's good. What about uh, graphene? Graphene, yeah, we got two graphene coatings. We've got a, a two-year graphene called Graph Light and a six-year uh, graphene called uh, called Graph X Six. So yeah, we've got two graphene coatings too. Absolutely oh, popular for Florida because especially with your darker colored vehicles, the graphene, oh, yeah. in my opinion, is a lot help more uh, water repellent than over the ceramic. It, it is for sure. So you know, I, I would say the biggest difference. Is and I mean you could I could literally take someone could take one of our ceramic you could take my one coat nano ceramic that lasts four years with one coat wipe it on one side of a car wipe the Graph X six on the other side of the car and bring me the car a day later and I'll tell you which side of the car has a ceramic and which has the graphene oh, they, wow. they feel they feel totally different I can tell how it looks um, the graphenes are really they they feel uh, soft and slippery almost like a wax where typical ceramics have a tendency to feel. A little bit more tacky so the graphene definitely has a totally different feel to it uh you know than a regular ceramic does but the graphenes they do absolutely outperform uh ceramics and all of our real life real world testing that we're doing with with chemicals we, when we will wash the cars with degreasers acids we'll water spot them on purpose we'll, we'll stick a car right in the, the you know the irrigation system here um you know in our and let it water spot to where it looks like someone dumped flour all over the car and then we'll turn it off so we do crazy stuff to test, and I can tell you that the uh, the Graph X six and the Graphenes really did, you know, impress me to where it, I mean it, it was noticeable. So I, I was really impressed with that. So yeah, they, they really do work. It's not it's not a joke. It's not a hoax. It's not a scam. They they, they do perform. So if someone were to apply the uh, Graph X six, what type of toppers or topper does Duracoat have to help maintain that? Do they have a soap? That with the yeah. H neutral soap that can go with it and a topper to help maintain it. And we do. We've got several pH neutral wash soaps. We actually have a ceramic wash uh, wash soap as well. That's got um, that's uh, ceramic infused. It's really made to detox the ceramic, and we don't. It's expensive. I think it's about twenty seven or twenty eight bucks for a sixteen ounce bottle. We don't recommend. I mean, you can use it as your everyday, you know, every week wash or everyday wash if you want to. But we usually recommend that you're using it every thirty to sixty days. You can use it all the time if you want. Um, but yeah, we do have that too. And as far as maintaining it, what you know, what what you're going to want to you know use after you wash the car, you have behind you the cryo is one. Um, mm -hmm. That's right behind you. And then we have another product called Recharge. Um, yep. So that's cryo right there. That's that's a hybrid ceramic uh, spray detailer. Recharge is an all ceramic spray detailer. Again, neither of those two are what we call ceramic coatings. Those are basically we'll call them ceramic spray waxes. So the purpose is you know with those four ceramics is they bond. To a ceramic coating so if you put on for hypothetical you put on graph x6 and three weeks later you went to an auto parts store and bought a can of paste wax and you put paste wax on it's going to slide off the surface the wax will not bond to that ceramic three days wow. later you're going to see streaks and runs um off of your car and we, we've done it we've seen it actually when we've tested you know testing products so it will slide off so if you have a ceramic coating on your car you're going to want to use a ceramic you know, a ceramic spray detailer, you know, to maintain, you know, to maintain the vehicle. So that is a big deal. Yep, it definitely is. That's good. So functional doctor says, so are the coatings made in house or are you using a blender with your recipe? I'm not sure what the blender means. So we don't manufacture any of our ceramic coatings in house because they're flammable and it would be, it would be illegal for us to do that in house. So we hire those products out to a chemical company uh, that we're in contract with to, to make our coatings for, uh, for what we want. And we'll do testing with those, you know, all year long, what, what we want. Um, you know, we design them with them based on, you know, for one ease of use, they've got to be really, really easy to use. That's a big deal. And, um, you know, and they need to perform. So, you know, we'll go through, we just got two new samples of ceramic in the other day that we've been, you know, trying to develop with our chemical company. Uh, we'll start testing those next week and see, you know, where they go and how that works. But yeah, we can make them in house. Those are flammable. That would take, that would take rezoning. And that's something that we'll, we'll never manufacture those, yeah. those in house. So, yeah. DRD is making a comment. I can see it, but uh, it's a good question. Uh, I'm going to ask you here. So you got, four different type of ceramic coatings. And I'm assuming, I'm just gonna grab one that I have here. So I'm assuming they come something similar in a bottle like this, I would imagine. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. Some so yeah. some come in glass. Yep. Some come in uh, pla little little plastic bottles. So if we got yeah. a little a thirty milliliter bottle, yeah, and we fill we'll fill those in house though. So our, our ceramics come into us in bulk, and then we do fill we do fill all the bottles in house. So those are filled and by us. So the here's my question. So say for instance, you know, because there's some, there are detailers like DRD is one of them. He's a detailer uh, with options of pricing. A ceramic coating car because you know for as a detailer ceramic coating is a high ticket thing because you can tell them you know it's three to five years if you let me maintain it you get your maximum capacity so you can you know you get all the high end stuff out of it but if you get the one year ones that are a little bit cheaper like you say they're like forty ish dollars forty bucks so, yeah yeah so um, that that could be a good option I guess for somebody to offer a cheaper ceramic type coating I guess. Yeah, we, we always recommend that. I mean, um, we've got a ton of, you know, authorized sellers, and I think we supply over 400 uh, detailers currently. But yeah, we so if someone asks us, you know, what do you recommend? We always recommend a, a low-end ceramic, and then we, we recommend, you know, a higher-end one. So there should be two types that you, you know, you offer. And offer a lower-end one for those who can't afford, you know, to, you know, to go up to something that could be quite expensive to apply and install. So yeah, two kinds. Usually we recommend like a one-year coating and then it, usually we'd recommend either our one coat nano or our graph X six or our extreme nano coat. So those would be the, th the three or high end ones that we'd recommend someone carries to. Yeah. yeah. And, and then the sensor setup like you were talking about with the, the shampoo, uh, the shampoo, the shampoo and topper, it's pretty much the same for the one year up to the 10 year. Identical. It'd be identical. Yeah. The, the, the content of solids and stuff and the formulas just get more and more concentrated as the, uh, you know, as it goes up. So our diamond coat is a two year coating. Our one coat nano is a four year coating. The, di the, the one coat nano that's a four year coating is literally just double the concentration that the two year coating is. It's oh. that, it's that simple. Yeah. That's, that's literally how it is. So once we get into like our one coat nano, I'm sorry, extreme nano coats, those get into like 90% of quartz. And that's, that is a totally different formula that can be layered um, up to four times the last 10 plus years. And that's quite an install to do. You would layer it up to four times, uh, four to six hours in between coats. So you'd have 20 hours uh, or so at least into, uh, into applying all your layers and coatings. And, um, and that's, a, that's a remarkable product as well, too. So um, we, we do have a lot of ceramics to choose from. So I seen when I was on your website, you have a lot of like, uh, also grab this for instance, you have a yep. lot of things that come as a package. Yes. So does a ceramic, do you offer, I noticed it, do you guys offer a ceramic coating in, in any of your ones with we'll the ceramic coating, the uh, the shampoo, the topper, and uh, and help stuff you with help like maintain them? Yeah, yeah, we do. We've got tons of different bundles and packages. People love <laughs> They love the bundles. They love them. So we, we sell a lot of them. So yeah, there's there's all sorts of bundles that'll have ceramics in it. It'll have the dirt dressing in it. You get interior cleaner with it. Um, I forgot this yeah. also came with it too. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's a graph light. Yep, that's that's a that's a small bottle of graph light. The bigger one comes in glass. The little one comes in the uh, in the poly bottle and stuff. That's right. Yep. And that little bottle there will do. will do two vehicles. You'll get two vehicles out of that with no problem and, at all. Now, I was assuming that this little piece was just to do the rim and then the rest of this was to do my tire is this to actually graphene a car yeah yeah that's that's a, that's a graphene coating that's a ceramic, oh, okay. graphene ceramic coating get it for a car and so, truck i believe it was you have to help me out because i don't remember how much i paid for it's 120 bucks i think for the whole kit you just have there yeah. i don't know which kit you got i mean there's a couple it's, of them but that's the probably... big, I, have big truck. I have a big truck so i bought the one for the big tires Okay, yeah. So they, yeah, they start at nine. I think the ninety nine dollar one is for the car, and then you get the bigger tire kit. Yeah, for the truck that might be one hundred and twenty. That's right. Yep, that's yeah, so, correct. All right. So I, I I did buy the oh yeah because this is XL. So yeah, right. In this kit, it was I think a regular one hundred ninety nine, but there was a used coupon code something to get a good amount off. You get the Dura Cleaner, which is what you use to prep your tire for the application of the Dura dressing, which can last uh, uh, at least a year, if not longer, if, uh, if yeah. uh, enough graphene to at least do one vehicle. I can see a little bit of powder down there too. I can see it. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do way more than one vehicle. You'll get. Oh, I'm, I, yeah, it'll do. You'll, you'll get way more than one vehicle. The graphene's go further than ceramics do. 
Wow. Okay. And then the cryo, which is to help maintain, I would imagine. Yep. That's it. Yep. And then uh, the grippy glass. glass cleaner. Yeah, it's a unique glass cleaner. It actually turns to a gel. So when you shake it and when you spray it, um, it actually sticks to the. It doesn't run all over the place. Uh, like you know, we have, we've got some videos running where um, you know we spray you know Windex on one half of the glass and, and grippy glass on the other. The Windex runs and you know runs down the window, and the, the grippy glass just sticks to it. And it's a great glass cleaner. Once you use grippy glass, you're not going back to any other glass cleaner ever. It does an awesome job. It's not a soap based uh, glass cleaner. A lot of glass cleaners they put ammonia with some soap. In a bottle, and that's what you're that's what you're buying. Um, that does not it doesn't we don't make that that way. So it doesn't streak at all. It cleans the windows. Awesome. It's a it's a great product. Once you use grippy glass, you won't use anything else. It's an awesome awesome product. And then I get some the crazy suds. Yep, crazy suds auto wash. That's pH neutral soap. And I can use that with the graphene, then right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Is yeah. there up to this? Say it again. Is there is there a nice smell to this or what? Is there yeah, great great bubble gum. Oh, really? I well, I gotta check that out. Yeah, yeah. everything's still kind of closed. I just kind of pulled it out, so it's still there. But oh, and it's even purple, huh? It's purple. <laughs> oh, it sure is. Look at, uh, uh, let me see. I don't know if I can. If the camera can even pick it, let me see if I can do this. You can see it's purple. That's great. I love it. And even <laughs> it's really great too. I love it. <laughs> and then you get the metal polish. Which yes. Is your videos someone was doing like their uh, toolbox in the back of the truck oh yeah yeah the metal polish we sell a lot of metal polish great stuff yeah and the leather soft which smell hella good so, it does it's awesome so for 120 bucks that's a lot of stuff for 120 bucks yeah especially if you're getting your graphene coating in there too yeah. and you could do two vehicles with multiple if you gave me that little bottle of graphene I would be able to do several. I could probably do two to three cars with two mm -hmm. coats uh, per vehicle, easy with that bottle. It, the graphene's go a very, very long way, so that's another benefit to them as well. So I'm, 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 messing, I'm trying to keep up with the. I'm I got <laughs> messaging at the same time. At the, <laughs> yeah, now I got to go to the. I'm on the computer here. I got the phone there and I'm trying to keep up with the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, DRD says he wants to smell it. Hold on, DRD. I, I, I've did this before in the video. Some people did fall for it. It was pretty funny. Here, DRD, take a smell. <laughs> this leather soft is free. Oh, it's leather, all right. It, it, oh. Your whole car smells like new leather. It's awesome. It's it's cool. Yeah. It's a good product. Yeah, it yep. yep, it's awesome. <laughs> you know, because I've uh, in the past uh, when I we had Extreme Solutions on last, we asked them. We do make a, a mystery box, and they said, "Well, that's not you know we we never thought about it before," and so then they did right after that stream, and they freaking were so freaking busy after that that they actually had to take people out of their office and take them across the street to do packaging. But there's really no need to do mystery boxes when you actually have the box there ready to go. Which yeah, we've got tons of bundles and kits. You can you can just uh. Order so you can see what you're getting, you know, in that. And that's really, really the reason we didn't do a mystery box, and we've never done one. Is you know, we have we have so many that you can choose from that are already built uh, together, they're bundled together, and they're discounted. So you guys can grab what you want. We got a lot. We have tons of them. I mean, tons of them. So there's a lot to choose from. I seen, that. yeah, because it, it took me a while just to get through them all. I'm like, holy cow! Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot yeah. of them. <laughs> so to me, and just my opinion, but. The, the labeling of Duracoating, this is, is pretty cool. Who, who can do that? So um, we hired a, you know, basically a marketing company when we were first developing the company. And we had them, they designed, I, I think, probably 40 to 50 different labels and logos uh, logos for us. Mm -hmm. And we kind of just would pick through them and we we'd narrow it down to like 10. And then they would, you know, they would keep working on them and narrow it down again and narrow it down again. So that's that's how the logo came about. So we, we hired companies to design stuff and come up with ideas. Uh, we hired a couple different companies to do it and pick who's we like the best. And um, and that's kind of how we came up with the uh, with the logo. So we had the name, but we needed a cool a cool logo. And uh, that's that's where Dura Coding came from. It's pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, very cool. Hmm. Let me see. Well, let me get back to the questions here. We're supposed to go back into the gray zone, which is what talk about now. Oh, we got some people from overseas. Paul Dolden, what's going on, Paul? How you doing? 
we had actually had him on not too long ago. Uh, DRD says, wish you could smell because it's bad. It smells good. If you wait, DRD, and just make an order about 20 minutes after the live stream, you can get your own and you don't have to worry about not smell. That's right. And DRD, if you get this box here for your cheaper customers, you'll have some graphene in there. And hey, and just an FYI, the tire coatings too, the dirt dressing, we've got wholesale dirt dressing kits. So the detailers actually aren't buying like that kit you just showed. Uh, our detailers and our auto our auto dealers um, they don't they don't buy them like that. We have bulk kits, so um, they don't come with the, with the, with the red box. They come actually with either gallons of, of cleaner and uh, dirt dressing bottles. So the price is it's a lot less expensive buying the bulk packages as it yeah. is buying them in, in single kits like that. So if you're a detailer, you're not going to buy them in single kits like that. You'll buy the bulk packages. That's that's what you'll buy. So you can get that that tire dressing in bulk. Yeah, yeah, we've, we've got several different kits to choose from. One really popular one we ship uh, tons of every day. It's called the 8 to 12 kit. It, it'll do up to 12 cars. I think it's 100 and, 115 bucks to do 12 cars. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got that. Would, they go up to 74 vehicle kits. So, I mean, wow. you can buy them in bulk. We sell it in gallons as well, too. So, I, I mean, it really is economical to do it, buying it in bulk. But you really wouldn't buy those kits like that. And try and put on a customer's car and charge them because the kits are the kits are you know you're paying for all the packaging that's that's there and uh, the detailers just don't need that they just need the bulk kits to to apply it and they're on, it's on our website you go to the top of the header on the website it says wholesale bulk click yeah. on it You'll see all the wholesale dirt dressing packages that are that yeah. are available to you guys and, and I know you also got some sale stuff too the Bogo sale where buy one yeah. get one off I see yeah. that over there. Yep. Yep, we got Bogo stuff too. Can, like wheel cleaners, buy one get one. That cryo behind them is buy one, buy one get one half off. So yeah, we got some cool. We got some cool deals. <laughs> talk about we're talking about mystery boxes. Paul Dodon <laughs> says the us who didn't. He never knows what they are. <laughs> Paul Dodon, he's super super funny guy. So funny. He is pretty funny. He's pretty cool dude. We, we all follow him. Paul's great. I don't know if you've ever seen any of his videos. He's on YouTube. Also, he makes videos. It's cool. That's awesome. Yeah, and and then uh, I you're the one that's on your channel doing the videos too, right? Yeah, yeah, I'll be on the TV commercials too. I think we're we're um uh, you know we're, I think we're we're doing the filming um in three weeks. We're actually we're actually shooting the commercials and stuff too. So yeah, I'll be in the commercials as uh, as well. They'll be on TV. So yeah, I'll be in there. Uh, and this question was literally just answered. So yes, they do. You do sell in bulk, yeah. Yeah, we do sell in bulk. Yep. When you go to, I'll put that banner back uh, right here. If you go to duracoating.com and on the upper part, in the very, very top part, there's a, what, what was the option? I've already forgotten. What it, it, says was. Wholesale. it says wholesale bulk, oh. right? Right at the top of the webpage, it's wholesale bulk. Just click on that. You'll see our, the bulk kits that are on there. Yeah, yeah, which is cool. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier and a lot, lot less expensive. Can you sell a bulk to part time dealers or do you have to buy? Uh, sorry, since you're early, I'm gonna we'll put this back so I can read this. Sorry, you sell, you sell them both to part. Yes, they do sell to part time. Tea. I'm a part time detailer, I'm gonna detail on the weekends. That's it, and you don't have to have a detail shop. No, yeah, anyone can buy, anyone can buy, anyone can buy. Can buy, can buy. I will everybody, yeah. So, streaming right across the uh, Helena. I hope I said that right. Uh, there will be a discount code after the stream is over, it'll be Mike M I K E. Will be a discount code for twenty percent off that uh, they're going to be making for us. So yeah, anything you want, twenty percent off anything you want. Machine polishers, bulk kit, whatever you want. Twenty oh. percent of work. I'll, I'll open it to the whole website, so you guys will get full full reign, twenty percent off anything you want. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Okay. Well, who makes? Uh, I'm assuming that the polishers are not made in, in house. No. Yeah, we we don't we don't make we don't make our polishers. We're, I'm not that good. Yeah, we don't make our polishers. We make our bottles, our caps, our brushes, our yeah, yeah. applicators. Yeah, we don't make those. We we uh, we buy those. So yeah, we we have those made for us. Uh, you know, by another company that that um that makes them, and um they're good, high quality polishers. We buy massive amounts of them, so we can sell them for a really good price. Um, the same polishers that I use, uh, you know, in my videos, showing you guys how to use our stuff. Um, our pads too. We have the pads made for us. We don't manufacture our own pads, of course. No one does. So, yeah, we have pad manufacturers, and we have the pads made to uh, the densities that I think work best, uh, you know, for our, uh, you know, for our polishers. So, um, you know, give you guys a crash course on how it works is 
uh, like tire dressing applicator pads. I can have those made in any density that I, that I want. Um, machine polishing pads, foam pads. I can have foam polishing pads made in any density that, that I want to have them made for us in. So uh, a lot of the stuff that, you know, that we're selling is, is just something that we're having created for us, for our stuff. We feel it works best. So I'm extremely particular in, in what we sell and we only want to sell stuff that, uh, you know, that works really, really, really good. And, um, you know, you use what we're showing you. Um, it'll do exactly what the video show because they're all real. That's why we don't, they're not, there's no cutting. Uh, they're not, we don't have them. We have very few videos professionally uh, filmed. We want to shoot them live. Just, you guys are just watching it happen, you know, right in front of you. And, you know, we kind of built the company around that. And, and we like, you know, we like that, that you guys can see how, you know, how we're doing it that our stuff works and we're showing you everything that's for sale on the website. So if we just did a ZR1 restoration on 2011 ZR1, that was in really one of the worst uh, conditions I, I've, I've seen it, the car was in an accident, but um, you know, everything that we use to take that car to bring it back to where it looks like now you guys can, you guys can get, and you can, you can use and get the same, the same results that, that, uh, that you know, that we do. So it's uh, and you know, we pride ourselves on that. So that's why the videos that don't have edits and cuts. If we screw up on a video, um, you know, we, we won't edit it. That's, that's it. Sometimes, you know, if we're doing something special or cleaning it, cleaning an engine bay and, and I mess up with what I'm saying, party's over that video is never getting never getting shot it's never getting shown we'll have to wait for another vehicle because we're not going to edit it and cut it out or anything like that so some things i only get one shot at, at doing and it's got to go good or it'll never be never be seen by anybody so you know we are particular that you know we're showing you guys real videos we're not cutting away and doing something else in the meantime than showing you guys results you're you're watching it happen uh you know real time so that's kind of how we roll so I, I like the fact that when you took the big bucket of sand you did tire and threw the sand all over the tire to show how one side of the solvent absorbed all the sand. Yeah, and that did not, and then you hose it off, and then wash the whole tire totally cleaned off, and then you can see where that section of the tire was completely clean again, and then you had one side still with your coating on there. I, I, I like that. Yeah, that took three hours. That took us three hours to get that video down to where it was under under sixty seconds. So our goal was to shoot that video. Um, and have it have it in a time. Well, we need it in 47 seconds in 4K to be able to make it uh, just a regular Instagram post, not an IGTV post. So it took us it took us just over three hours to to be able to do it uh, in 47 seconds is what we need with our with our camera. So it took a long time. It was it was a huge pain in the butt. I bet. Do you, so. do you guys sell banners? Um, yeah, we, we've got banners. We don't generally, we don't necessarily sell them. Um, you know, if someone wants a banner, you can contact us. Our, all right, we'll get you, we'll get you a banner. You just, just send me, send me over what size you want. I'll have a banner made up for you, but all of our authorized installers, um, you know, our, our retailers, they all get banners and stuff too. So if, um, you know, you guys are placing orders and getting big orders, we'll always give you banners. Uh, you know, you'll see a lot of our, our posts, um, you know, reposting detailers using our stuff. You'll see, there you go. There you go. You'll see uh, you'll see our banners in the background. You know, and the one thing that we try and do is, you know, for professional detailers, for our detailers, the guys using our stuff, we try and give our platform, uh, you know, to them. So Instagram and Facebook, if you guys are making videos and shooting a video of using our product, and we'll repost your video on our main pages for thousand. And our our Facebook page gets two million people, you know, viewing it per week. So uh -huh. we'll post your information. Where you are, uh, you know, and, and you know, with uh, with your video or photos, we we get hundreds of them a day, hundreds a day. Uh, we this, repost. This is exactly what I'm gonna do. I, I am planning on making a YouTube video with the Dura cleaner and the Dura tire dressing. Yep. And then I'm gonna follow it up with, uh, you know, the one month, three months, six months, one year. I am I am gonna, I am gonna be doing that for sure. Just yeah. Cool. It. And then yep. every. Three months, like you said, uh, I'm going to just do one quick dressing on there and, and see how long it'll go. That's it. And it's simple, too. It's simple. You can reapply anytime you want to. All you have to do is wash wash the tire off. I usually use a really soft brush and, mm -hmm. um, and like, either car wash soap or dish soap. I usually, when I'm washing the truck I'll you know, or my cars, I'll wash the tires, too. But just make sure the tire doesn't have, like, dirt and crap from the road on it, and you're yeah. going to coat over top of it. So as long as the tire is clean, free of debris, you can slap a coat on anytime you want. Anytime you want to put a coat on, you can do it. So the stuff is super easy to work with. It's really, 
it's really user friendly and it's a great it's a great product. So you know how it came together to be honest with you is nothing short of a miracle. I still don't believe we ever accomplished what we did, but it's so easy to use and it's it's a great product. So it's it's uh, uh, it's our flagship product. That's pretty good. That's yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> so just out of curiosity, why does uh, Kevin have to come? Is it Kevin, right? Kevin Harrington? Oh yeah, yes. Yeah. Why do you have to come aboard? What's what's the push? So it it um we were contacted by Shark Tank, God, last last year, probably right before COVID hit. We we um we're working with other Shark Tank to be on Shark Tank and we, we did we shot videos for them. It was a huge process to be on there. Well it really turned out that we probably weren't a really good fit for um Shark Tank exactly. So um, Kevin Harrington is one of the one of the sharks. Has another program called Shark Discoveries, where they take companies and um, they basically get them, you know, onto TV. And, and we're we're paying for it. He's not he's not flipping the, the full oh. bill for it. So, you know, but to get on TV to do an infomercial the right way to get the infomercial properly, you know, shot and filmed is expensive. Um, you know, and we didn't want to just have someone, you know take a guess at who we should have do it. We were looking, we wanted to find someone that could really do it. So we were already in the process of interviewing and having a lot of different infomercial uh, companies and producers make stuff, uh, you know, make up ideas for us. And then these guys came along and said, Hey, th- we, we do almost all of the infomercials, you know, most of them that you're seeing because they own, you know, they own as seen on TV as well. And they have a whole program. They'll, you know, they'll also introduce us to retailers and things like that. And he endorses our product. They tested our products. They like our products. So it's just a good fit. So it's, um, you know, it's not something that it may, maybe it won't go anywhere. We may do this whole program with them and, and maybe that's where it ends and maybe it goes on from there forever. So, you know, it's, it's not set in stone. We're going to do, you know, one full run with them, uh, you know, on TV and social media and, uh, and we'll see where, we'll see where it goes. And yes, we do ship to a Puerto Rico. Oh, okay. That's good. Cause uh, Humberto's his name, and uh, he, he, if you ever, if he follows you on uh, YouTube, if, as soon as you post a video on YouTube, your very first comment will be first from Puerto Rico, guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you. He's, he's he's got his notifications on every single detail there is out there. That's awesome. Yeah, we ship to Puerto Rico. We ship packages there all the time. So yep, really common. Yep, we ship a lot of stuff there. Yeah, closer to Puerto Rico than to come to California. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for real. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so, uh, where do you see yourself, uh, you know, five years from now? Do you guys see yourself still staying in Florida, a small company? Or do you think you're going to still stay in Florida, but in a big ass warehouse with, you know, robots doing all your uh, I don't know about the robot I mean we'll probably stay in Florida because you know I don't have any intentions on, on leaving leaving here so we probably will stay in, in Florida here I, I I would um I would definitely say I'm not we're not going to leave here and you know we, we try not to get out too far ahead of ourselves as far as like you know what's going to happen in five years because every, every day you know can be a day that a new door opens and the phone rings and it, it's you know the company takes a huge change you know go, going a different direction so like I said, we, we kind of take it one day at a time. Um, right now, we're like I said, everything I explained earlier. We're gonna we're moving in, trying to get all our stuff on, on Amazon, trying to get Amazon to fulfill, uh, you know, our most of our stuff for us. But that process takes a super long time. They've got to approve all the products, and it, it's just it's just a huge, it's a big production. So we're spending the next year working on that, and then we're gonna explore TV with uh, you know with uh, Kevin Harrington and uh, you know and things like that. So and we'll see where we'll see where it all goes. We just let the doors you know open you know open for us. It's uh, you know every month it's it's we just continue to grow and grow and grow and it's it's uh, it's it's pretty amazing. So you know we we take it we take it one day at a time. And like I said, I try not to get too far too far ahead of myself as far as where we're gonna be in five yeah. years. We just let it go. The doors will open. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a company called Glovebox? Yeah. Yep. Have you ever thought about teaming up with Glovebox? I think they contacted us already. I think we talked oh, okay. to them four, five, six months ago. I think. Yeah, we we did. We talked to Glovebox. Yes. That's yeah. uh, that would be because I know, and I, I don't even know from from uh, other YouTube people. There's more of a. a an eye in the glove box section that, than I would think in the Duracoat technology section. So I, I would have some imagine, that's why I'm asking, 
if you've ever, because I think if you ever got your foot with glove box, it would be known to a lot more YouTubers about dirt coat technology. I so so. You know, coming on on Instagram and Facebook and coming on something like this and tell us about yourself. Sure. That, sure. That, 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 I don't know. It's just something I would recommend. That's all. Yeah. Nope. I think it's a great idea. I, I they just teamed up and did a turtle wax. Uh, they just did a teamed up turtle wax for the for the April, and they completely sold out of everything. Turtle wax. Okay, time out. We got to stop. They were selling out so fast. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. A good story on turtle wax. So that bottle of cryo that you have behind you, that cryo uh, spray. Yeah. 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 It, it was called ice. Uh, and Turtle Wax contacted us and said, "Hey, look, would you guys possibly change the name of that to something else?" They didn't. They didn't want to call it called Ice. And I'll tell you what, they were they were super great um, uh, people to, to deal with and stuff. They were awesome. They were super respectful. And uh, you know, we said, "Hey, absolutely, absolutely, we'll definitely change the name and we'll come up with something else." And uh, you know, so they have they have a new product line coming out called you know called Ice, I guess. So we uh, we said, you know, we'll go ahead and change that name. So it, that's why it's called Cryo. It was called ice for a long time and uh, we changed it up and uh, you know, because of the turtle wax people requested, asked us if we'd mind making the name change. So we did. So, we changed it for that. Also, so just like you guys, I mean, your company's family owned, right? You, your wife. Yeah. And... Okay. We're family owned. My, my wife and uh, I've got, I've got three kids. Um, yeah. My daughter and my wife helped me run the company um, for the most part uh, with, with a, you know, another team of people, but yeah, no, we're, we're family owned. Um, my son's away at college. When he comes home, he, he works, uh, he'll work with us there too. And then my other son's 14 and uh, you know, he does help out and stuff too in the back on the weekends. He'll, he'll come back and help too uh, as well. So yeah, we're, we're family owned and, and uh, hands-on as it possibly, as it possibly could be. You can call during the day and ask for me and, they'll find me and, and go get me and you, you, anyone can talk to me. So we're, you know, we're, we're there to help everybody. That's, that's kind of how we look at it. So we want to be there to answer your questions and, and help you out. So nope, we're as, we're as family owned an American company as, as you could possibly imagine. So. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> they know you're missing like a blue little color somewhere. I think it'd be red, white, and blue. And you're yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> cool. maybe, maybe we need that change. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, all you need is a little bit. Just put like a little. That's it. Little, little, little blue down there. Blue. That's it. A little stripe. Blue. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I'll pass that on. Yeah. <laughs> the backstory. Okay, so Ryan says it's very informative. He's gonna definitely check you guys out. He wants to hear the backstory on the company. So uh, to go to go over the story of the company again. So you know, I, I've I've been detailing has been a hobby of mine. When did it start? What year? So we started creating dirt coating five five years ago is when the company actually started started being created and stuff and started uh, building our product line. It was about five years ago. So product. What was it? Well, we we started we started developing basically um, like polymer polymer spray detailers and things like okay. that. That's kind of how it started. And then uh, dirt dressing kind of stumbled along. You know, like I said, it was an accident and. Then we took two and a half years and just worked on dirt dressing and put a, a lot of money into dirt dressing. Dirt dressing, I think my wife figured it out uh, a couple months ago. I think we have about a half a million dollars into just developing dirt dressing and getting dirt dressing to market. So um, that took a lot of our time, a lot of our money and stuff. And then, um, you know, the last several years, I'd say the last probably two and a half years, though, is the company's really exploded into uh, into where it is. You know where it is today in our sales, and like I said, some months we're shipping thirty thousand, thirty thousand packages. So that's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot of packages. Yeah. It's a lot of packages. It's a lot of orders going out. It is. It's a lot of work. Um, you know, on on everyone's part. So, but it's uh, it's it's something that we love to do and we enjoy doing, and uh, you know, work hard people ourselves, and um, you know, it's kind of cool to do something that you like. It's a lot of work. You know, my day starts out at five a.m. Uh, you know, it doesn't end usually till 11 o'clock at night every day. So it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. Um, you know, we enjoy it. We're tired sometimes, but, but it's good. It's a, it's a good thing. It's a great thing. And, uh, you know, our, our goal is, like I said, to develop and bring the best products that money can buy to, uh, you know, to, the, to everyone's, you know, everyone's uh, shop. So when we develop a product, the first thing that we do in developing a product is um, make it, let's build a product that'll do the best job that's, that can possibly be done regardless of the price. So it's amazing what you can do having products manufactured when you're not trying to stick to 
a two dollar a bottle product for retail. So we we don't do that. So I mean, if I if I could find a um, you know a ceramic coating or, or a spray a spray detail or spray wax that was the best in the world, it gave the best shine you could ever imagine, and it cost us fifty bucks to manufacture a bottle, I, we'd sell it for that. If it was that good, we'd sell it. So yeah. we're not worried. We're not interested in, in delivering cheap priced stuff because it's already out there everywhere. Go to Walmart. Go to any auto parts store. There's cheap stuff all over the shelves that underperforms everywhere. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to contribute to that. We want to go the other way. We're looking for stuff that is absolutely amazing. Some of our stuff is, uh, you know, is definitely a little bit more expensive. We're definitely on the, on the higher end, um, you know, of pricing. But it, but it works. It works really good. It saves time. It cuts time. The jobs, the job looks, it looks better when you detail a car. It looks better. It comes out better. Uh, you know, and that's what it's all about. It's, you know, uh, time is money and, uh, you know, putting your best foot forward and delivering a superior, you know, job, detail job uh, to, a, to a customer could mean the difference between that customer never coming back to you or saying, you know what, I got two more cars. Detail, yeah. the, do the same thing to these. And my neighbors do all theirs. And I can't tell you how many stories we hear from professional detailers that were doing this part time. One day a week, two days a week, they were detailing cars and they were working somewhere else. They started using our products and saw the kind of results they can get. And pretty soon, these guys are detailing seven days a week. They're going all they're going seven o'clock in the morning till midnight, detailing cars, traveling all over the country. Um, you know, detailing. I just had one of our detailers yesterday. Uh, you know, um, you know, Jason Reynolds from Reynolds Mobile Detailing. He's he's going to travel four hundred miles, five hundred miles. To do. A lady called him and said, "I've got we got five vehicles. We want them all paint correction, all graphene coated." So he's going to go travel. And for that kind of money, go travel. I mean, this guy has turned his entire life around. So delivering, delivering, you know, proper, you know, the proper job or the best job to somebody, um, to a customer, that's where your repeat business comes. That's how your, your business grows. It's not by, and I get a lot of detailers too, like, man, I, I could never detail cars using your stuff. It's just too expensive. I just couldn't charge enough. Man, I don't understand what that means. <laughs> I, mean, I, don't, I don't get what that means. You know, if you're delivering to people a superior product that looks that good, man, it's 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 worth it. That's what it's all about. And good products, you know, the, you know, the saying goes is, good products aren't cheap, and cheap products aren't good. But um, you know, you got You want to give someone something that they look at and they say, wow, you know, wow, that's that's amazing. And our, and our goal is to deliver products to people when they use it. They say, wow, <laughs> this is awesome. This is amazing. We get hundreds of messages a day, you know, saying just that, man, your guys' stuff is is just so good. Um, and it is. If it wasn't good, it would never see our. It would never see our name on that label. Um, we, just, like I said, I got more junk on the shelf that'll never make it to, to market than we do stuff that we actually sell to you guys. So there's we got crap everywhere that it's just it's okay, <laughs> but we just we just don't sell it. So it's it's important. It's our name. It's my name, and uh, you know, like I said, it's uh, it's my family's name. So you know, we we uh, you know we put the dura coating label on a bottle that's that's got to perform. It's got to be good, and we want to make sure that everything we have, you guys can buy and. Um, and, and say it's amazing so that's 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 what we do that's that's how we are and that's what we built the company on and, and we'll never we'll never uh we'll never waver from that so out of curiosity then you know like i said i'm gonna make that video of the tire dressing you know so i i have an f-250 it's, it's lifted it's got 37s but when i when you look at the tire behind the tire at the wheel well what would i dress the wheel well with so everything stands out so nice. So we've got a couple. We've got a couple different wheel well kits. We've got a a, a really unique uh, uh, kit called called the Duracoat X wheel well kit, and it's it's a permanent coating. It's a two part blend. You actually blend part A with part B. You've got three hours to use it, and um, you can you can coat your uh, your entire wheel well and everything under there. And, and you know, in your wheel well that you can see, so your springs, um, suspension, you can you can coat all that with the Duracoat X. Um, it dries harder than epoxy. It'll last on there for a super long time. There's a full video on our webpage. It's called. We've got a, a listing on the webpage for wheel wells, um, and that's that's a permanent product. So if you wanted to put something on that's going to last a, a long time, you know, over you know, over a year, you'd use the Duracoat X wheel well kit. And then we've got another product called DDE, um, which is basic. You know, which is basically um, it's not a permanent coating. It's it's basically a spray spray detailer type of product that you would use 
in your wheel wells. It's great on plastic and rubber and vinyl and stuff as well. Uh, we don't recommend it for like your leather seats and things like that, but it's a great product. There's a video of us using that too. So we've got two products. One's permanent, one's not. You can choose what, what you want to do. Um, putting on the Duracodex wheel well kit. Um, it doesn't work on fabric wheel wells. It only works on the plastic ones, but it takes a couple hours to install it and apply it. And we got a full video of us using it. And that's, that's, that's a really, really cool product too. That that's unique to us alone. We're the only ones selling anything, anything like that on the market at all. So that's, that's one of our, our unique products that we, uh, that we came up with and, uh, and that we use and we make. So it's pretty cool. That's interesting. Yeah. And it's not dirt dressing. Everyone asks, is it the same as dirt dressing? No, it's not. If you put the dirt codex on your tires, it's going to crack. It's harder yeah. than epoxy. So yeah, don't use it on your tires. Don't use it on your interior. Just just use it for uh, you know for the wheel walls. You can use it on plastic. It can go on you know rough plastic too. Uh, we sell the Duracodex for that too, and that's a great product too. As far as as far as putting a shine on your plastic and having that last for years, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool product we have for that too. That's good. It's good to yeah. know. And what's the price difference then between? Because I that part I, I I didn't see that part. That's why I was asking. What's the price difference between the spray and the two part? So the spray, um, I think, is like sixteen dollars a bottle, maybe something like that. And then the the, the wheel well kit, I think, is about sixty bucks for the wheel well kit. It comes with the cleaner, it comes with okay. cleaner, a brush, you scrub. You got to scrub your wheel wells down real good and get them good and clean. And then it comes with um, with four bottles of of the Duracodex stuff that you bl you blend and mix together with your applicator pads and your gloves, and you wipe it on. And um, watch watch the video. It's we do a lifted uh, a lifted Denali. Uh, Chevy Denali 3500 and the, the before and after is pretty it's pretty amazing so it's pretty cool ah, that's cool yeah it says what product for fabric wheel liners N nothing we don't have anything that we recommend for fabric wheel liners or anything like that so gotcha gotcha right on. so just basically just an APC clean it up call it good then huh yeah, it's it's a strong degreaser. It's our, it's it's actually our wheel cleaner. It's our I'm sorry, it's our tire cleaner that goes in the mm -hmm. kit. And that scrubs. It'll take any grease. It'll take it'll take everything off. That's the strongest tire cleaner on the planet, hands down. And um, when you use it, you'll know right away that it's the strongest cleaner that you'll ever use. So it is a serious serious cleaner. We had that developed just for us. That took six months of developing to get that cleaner to what we wanted it to do. We challenged a couple of different chemical companies with making it for us, told them what we wanted to do with it. And, um, and uh, we narrowed it down to that. We're working on generation two of that cleaner uh, right now. We just got two more samples in um, on Thursday. Um, that's trying to take that cleaner to another, another level. So we'll see if that's even possible or not, but we're, we're working on that. I just tested both those samples out today. We'll see. We'll see where they go. So we're always messing with stuff. We're always doing weird stuff here. That's how we roll. That's okay. There ain't nothing yeah. wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong yeah. with that. At least that's, how, that's how we are. <laughs> He's having fun, though. That's the best part. Yeah, yeah, we have some fun. Usually Sunday is a big day for us doing this time of year. Sundays are usually our testing days. Um, during the winter time, we can test a lot more because it's not as busy. But right now, we're pretty much in full swing, and it's it's crazy busy. So Sundays, we kind of relax a little bit and uh, do some chemical testing and things like that <laughs> cool cool okay i got this on here let's blood box well brad he's the owner of blood box we actually, we've had him on here a couple times also uh brad of blood box he just he, he just jumped into the uh stream cool very cool yeah. his his ear or hand or something must have been itching so yeah well we need, we need to talk to him huh so we need to talk to him again yeah. <laughs> so we definitely want to talk to him. Mark plus that? Rattles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're in. We're in. Yeah. Uh, that's good. Yeah, they uh they they're they're a pretty good company. We like we like them. They uh I'm <clears throat> close, but he's uh, he's here, usually here with me. And uh we Every time they want to announce something, they we do, they usually come on like how you are. Awesome. And they'll do their awesome. announcement that way. That's killer. That's awesome. Yeah, That's yeah. Really cool. So, functional doctor, what's the durability on the wheel armor nano? Um, the wheel armor nano is a one year uh, ceramic coating. It it generally, if you're putting it on metal, so you're putting on like American Force wheels, you generally will not get a full year out of it on on the metal. But it's a one year ceramic. The Wheel Armor Nano Extreme is a four-year, uh, four-year ceramic coating. Wow. So that's the difference between the two of them. One's a one-year, one's a four-year. 
actually have my, yeah. uh, uh, I'm in my garage <laughs> here where, where I'm doing this live. I actually put a truck, you know, I got my garage door. My garage door is right here. And I actually turned my truck sideways. It's up almost up against the garage door. And I was hoping Eric, which is he's my co-host, was going to make it in because I was going to, I got my table set up out there. And I was going to cool. take this and, and go out there and do a live demo. I'm going to see if actually, I'm going to text my wife to see if she'll help me do that. Cool. And, uh, try to do a demo on your uh, tire dressing out there just to show, because my, my truck is hella dirty right now, but I'll, I'll oh. roll Right. Cool. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. All right. Let me mess with her real quick. Actually, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to let you talk about the company real quick. I'm going to go inside real quick, pay the water bill, and I'll let you talk about the company because there's still quite a bit of people in here. And you could uh, – let me see if there's any questions popping up. <clears throat> yeah. My, just everyone knows that my throat's starting to dry out, so I'm not <laughs> choking on anything. I understand. I'm, I understand. My throat's drying out. Give me one second. I'll let you talk about the company. Uh, anything you want, you can you can even talk about glove box, even and how you guys have even talked before. And Bobby, right back. All right, cool. All right, so I don't know if I lost my feed or not, or what's going on here because I cannot see myself anymore on the feed. So I hope you guys are. Uh, I hope you guys are still there with me. It looks like everything. I'm not. I'm not showing this thing live anymore. Ticking down. So I don't know if I lost you guys or uh, or what's going on, but. Uh, you know, we, we've got a full line of products, everything from uh, from tire cleaners, wheel well uh, kits, uh, tire cleaners, um, wheel cleaners, ceramic coatings, waxes, wash soaps, uh, window cleaners, engine bay cleaners. Um, I mean, you name it, we, we pretty much have it. So I know at the end of the show, um, we're going to do a discount code for 20% off. The discount code is going to be Mike, M-I-K-E. Um, so you guys will be able to... Uh, to get 20% off anything you want, use the discount code. When we're done on the show, I will go ahead and, uh, and enter that enter that discount code in uh, for all you guys to uh, you know to go ahead and use. And uh, like I said, you can you can use it on machine polishers. We sell our own machine polishers as well. Um, anything you can think of, whatever as big of an order as you want or as small of an order as you want, you can get. Um, you know, I know we mentioned earlier our flagship product is our Dura dressing which is a tire coating. It's not, it's not a tire dressing, actually. Tire dressings um, typically are they're flammable and they're silicone. And in case you guys don't know that, they actually break down and eat uh, your rubber tires. So uh, dirt dressing is not like that at all. It is a tire coating that um, actually you, you put it on. You apply it pretty much the same as, as, a, as a traditional tire dressing. And uh, it dries and cures onto the tire. It's fully waterproof and, and washable. Um, once it's dry, it's quite a remarkable product. We have that in bulk uh, kits as well, too, for uh, those detailers and auto dealers that want to apply it onto customers' vehicles and charge for it. I've got a lot of detailers out there that um, that make a good good amount of money just applying, you know, dirt dressing onto uh, onto people's vehicles. It's great to pair with uh, full correction polishes and ceramic coatings as well. It's a uh, it's a great great thing to pair together. So, um, and it's and it's something unique that customers haven't seen. You know, we recommend detailers, you know, buy a kit, get, you know, get a kit from us or, or, or at least um, get some of it. Apply it onto your work truck or your work vehicle that you're going to, to customers' homes with and show them. Let them touch it. Let them see it. Um, wash it. I mean, we go to car shows. We do demos with it. And it just blows people, you know, blows people away. So it's definitely a good money maker. I mean, people want the tires to look good. Traditional tire dressing does not uh, does not make your tires look look good for very long. As everybody knows, it, it slings all over your cars. So the dirt dressing really does solve all of those problems, and and customers love it. You know, people, uh, you know, people love that. So that's something that's that you'd probably have unique to uh, to your area, and that you can make some money on. Um, and if you guys aren't doing correction polishes and ceramic coatings, there's huge money in that. A lot of detailers message us saying, "Hey, I'm interested in getting into you know paint correction, um, doing polishes and ceramic coatings." And I can tell you right out, that's that's where the money is. The money is in doing paint corrections and ceramic coatings. That's where you guys are going to make, you know, all of your money. So um, that's that's really important um, to be doing that stuff. So you can watch our videos. Get started. Get started polishing. Um, you know, get going doing it. Use the DA polishers that we show. They're super easy. They're super safe. Um, you know, so you know, get started polishing, and, and and your business will really will really you know flourish. That's the end thing. People want that. You know, people, uh, you know, 
people see it and uh, they know what it is and they want ceramic coatings. You know, right now everything's ceramic crazy. So if you're not doing paint correction polishes and ceramic coating guys, it is, uh, it's something you got to get into. It is where all of the money is. So that's exactly where all the money is at. Yeah. That's, that's, that's it. Washing cars is, is, uh, is not where the money is doing paint corrections. And, uh, you know, I had a guy call us the other day. He had a, he's got an F, it was an F three fifty, and, um, I'm not going to say the name of the ceramic uh, chain that's out there, ceramic coating, but to polish it and ceramic coat it, they told them $5,500. Now that to me is a little, it's a little steep. Um, I, I think, I think that's, I think that's too much. I don't think that's a fair price, um, you know, for that um, only because your cost of materials is really inexpensive. I mean, you don't have a ton of materials there. Your, your money is all in your time. Um, but I think that's a little little much. But there's definitely a lot of money in doing that. Uh, for, for the most part, guys, if we're working on anyone's cars, we don't do a whole lot of detailing anymore, but we'll take on specialty pro projects. Um, we're only doing paint corrections uh, and ceramic coatings. We don't do interiors. Um, I don't do anything like that. So that's that's not how – if you're bringing a car here, you're just getting it paint corrected and ceramic coated. But we're not we're not cleaning your interior at all. Uh -huh. We're, we're just doing we're just doing exteriors if we do it that's that's really all we're that's all we're doing and so it's not that bad on the body either what's that it's not that hard on the body either yeah you're right you're absolutely right so yep, before absolutely right. Coat technology uh, what, what what did you do before that before dirt coating technology yeah we uh we owned a, a lot of companies and stuff so uh, myself and my wife owned companies all across the United States. A lot we had had them all at the same time, actually. So we owned everything you can think of. We owned uh, we owned restaurants, commercial real estate. Uh, we owned health clubs. Um, we did site work. So we we've had a lot of companies over the years. And our our passion's always been racing and uh, and detailing cars. That's always that's been our uh, that's been our true passion. So that's that's what we kept stuck with and wanted to continue to de to develop was uh was the Dura coating brand. We sold everything off. Uh, a couple of years ago, we sold everything off just to focus 100% on on dirt dressing. I was traveling like four days a week, so I was making things really hard. But um, you know, now I'm here full time, and for the last you know three years or so, it's just it's all it's all just dirt dressing. So dirt coating and uh, and pumping out dirt dressing. So that's that's it. So that's what we do now. So functional doctor wants to any tricks? Are or is there, is there any tricks on installing glass X coating? <clears throat> no, not really. I mean. you, you you just want to make sure that the glass is, is really clean. So don't put it on over if there's still like bugs and stuff on the windshield, don't put it over it. Glass X is a graphene, um, you know, ceramic coating. So just make sure you got, you know, a clean surface. I always polish the, the windshields or glass first. I actually take our step one compound polish or our ceramic polish and I'll polish out the windshield after I clean it real good. I'll polish out the windshield. Um, and then I'll go ahead and apply it. Three coats is best. Mm-hmm. Uh, for the glass X, apply three coats about an hour and a half apart. Um, you want to put those coats on. That'll make all the difference in the world. So about an hour and a half apart, three coats. Just make sure your windshield's clean. You literally wipe it on, let it sit there for 30 seconds to a minute, wipe it off, wait an hour and a half or so, and then and then, and then then do it again. So, yeah. And the Graph X 6 works even better. So if you, if you want an even better glass coating, the Graph X 6 uh, will work even better than Glass X will. It's just the Graph X6 is so expensive. Um, it would be hard for us to sell a glass coating using Graph X6 because it would be it would be really expensive. So uh, Glass X works really well though, and it's and it's very affordable. Fantastic. Well, Mark, I do want to appreciate you coming on and, and spending an hour and a half with us. I hey man, mean, anytime. Usually we go between the hour and a half to to the two hour mark. I promise you, I'll, I'll try not to keep you that 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 much longer. But um, I, I appreciate you dropped a whole bunch of knowledge, which is like great because a lot of people did not know nothing about Duracoat technology. They just come on here and they're like, uh, just another company. But it's you know, it's a family owned USA created company that's there from from the ground up. Here it comes, which is cool. Nobody does know that, so I, I'm glad I was able to come out. Open up to a but you know open some eyes to a bunch of people so it doesn't think it's you no know, one of those chemical guys coming out with something I don't know you know it ain't that yeah <laughs> so yeah I, hey, I appreciate it man I appreciate you giving me the time and it's it's uh it's awesome so I I, I appreciate it very much no problem so I don't want to waste too much more of people's times I just know next 
weekend. Next Saturday, I got Curtis with Yeti Detailing. And Curtis and I and Phil with Miranda Detailing have teamed up. We're going to be having some videos dropping out next Saturday. It's going to talk. It's, it's called The Average Joe. Uh, how you can just wash, your, maintain your car with average products that you can go to and buy right here at, the, at your local uh, parts store. So cool. watch for that next Saturday. And next Saturday evening, I'll have Curtis with Yeti Detailing. I want to say thank you, Mark. Uh, hey. When you end the stream, we'll just go backstage. Nobody will know us. Or nobody will see us because I'll be done with the live here. So I'm going to cut the stream out now. I appreciate you guys. We'll see you all next Saturday. Thanks, man. I'll make that discount code up.